Now, how time flies. It's another week, and I must thank you for keeping a date with us on the program. Welcome to Metrofile, a social diary program on channels television that looks at the celebration side of life. I will be keeping it real in the next 30 minutes, so let's get it started right away. I'm Ogi Chikwasi. He died at the age of 25. Now, Chike Okoli's life was short-lived, but very impactful. Now, the Chike Okoli Foundation, which was set up in his memory to promote what he stood for, health and living, and entrepreneurial culture, held its eighth honor heart and soul gala night. Enjoy. <laughs> All is set for the 8th Annual Heart and Soul Gala Night for the Chike Okoli Foundation. It's that time of the year when the board management and staff of the foundation gather to appreciate themselves, review their performance, and most importantly, raise funds for the foundation. And here comes the brain behind the event, the managing director of EMSA Pharmaceutical, Dr. Stella Okoli. In no time, the hall was filled with eminent guests and the event got on the way. The foundation was set up in memory of Chike Okoli, who died at the age of 25 of a heart-related ailment in 2006. Until his death, he was an entrepreneur, and the foundation has taken it upon itself to promote what he stood for, healthy living and entrepreneurial culture. As we gather here today to celebrate the progress we have made, we must give thanks to Almighty God, whose abundant grace we have enjoyed over the years, leading us to the amazing position we are in today. To the Godly Foundation, that was once a dream is today, not during the dreams of millions of young entrepreneurs across our nation and inspiring them to turn their dreams to reality. Lending support to the laudable cause are the Minister for Health, Dr. Yebo Chichuku, Director General of NAFDAC, Dr. Paul Ohi, veteran actor Igwe Laze Kweme. First Lady of Ogun State, Olufunshu Amosu, former CBN Governor, Chief Joseph Sanusi, and his wife. Also here are Chairman and Vice Chairman of the Art of Life Foundation, Chief Ladi and Chief Mrs. Taiwo Taiwo, veteran musician Oyeka Wenu, amongst others. And creation of awareness and creation of wealth, 
as well as creation of awareness on cardiovascular health, which is agreeably one of the major contemporary global health concerns. Chike at the age of 25 was identified as an entrepreneur and it was therefore not noteworthy that the foundation set up in his honor has entrepreneurship as one of the three objectives. I am really, really impressed because I believe that they are bridging the gap that is somewhere in there. Because I understand that nobody would like to sit down and not be able to earn a living. I feel that maybe our youth don't understand. Maybe they just need somebody to explain to them. Sometimes that's all it takes. Somebody to show them the way. And I believe that it, this is what is being done in the Chiki Mokoli Entrepreneurial Foundation. It's a call to serve, and that only means people are welcome to contribute their own quota. Imagine raising a society where people are in tune with their bodies, and you don't wait till, I don't know, you have a third arm growing out of your back to seek help. You don't incessantly self-medicate because you understand that there is value in seeking professional help there. So I think doing that work with very young people is super important. I just implore you, empty your purse, to give, to give without, without understanding where it's going to come from next day, so that we can all, so that we can all sleep and find sense of suffering that I'm she can or call me would never be full. And he will never grow old. You, my darling sister, will never be full. And you will never grow old. And a moment to relax and listen to good music. After that, some of the invited guests joined Dr. Stella Okoli to cut the anniversary cake. And that certainly gave way to dancing in celebration of a short-lived but very impactful life.